all right so uh either this morning or sometime around there last night i don't know i was just informed of this like this i just saw it this morning um neymar's not going to the copa america just that simple he ruptured a ligament in his ankle and he's basically ruled out for the copa america with this starting like in less than a week maybe or in a week and it's kind of a, a low blow it kind of sucks for brazil um they have to replace him now i know they have options off the bench uh, i put i put the the little section of where he got injured to me that's really not a foul i don't know if he just wants to get back with miranda or he wants to look he wants to make miranda look bad but i don't know that's just some baby stuff man and for me like my personal opinion i think it's great that he got injured because right now somebody else is going to play and i feel that somebody else that wants to be in the team and that's actually going to contribute uh more than what he's going to do and you could be like what what are you even saying like it's neymar it's like he's one of the best in the world and all this and all that but i mean he showed us like that last world cup like, I mean, I, I guess I'm biased, but when he played against Mexico, this guy was trolling out the world. This dude was, like, falling every five seconds, <laughs> and that it just actually got to their attention that this dude falls here. He flops or he dives so much, and that they were saying that, oh, even he recognized it. I remember he, he was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. And that's, that's just the problem, man. Like, I can't go for a dude that's just going to uh, flop out his way to uh, success because, like, it's... You don't do that, man. You don't see Cristiano doing it. You don't see Messi doing it. Even though Cristiano flops more, but he's still he's still a competitor and he still fights and he still drives and whatever. But Neymar, this guy, I don't know if he's always injured or if it's just a, that he wants to... He doesn't want to play or whatever, but... This dude's always getting injured, and he's always missing practices, and he's always missing big games, and Paris gets knocked out of the, the quarterfinals, I think, twice already. He became a meme with, like, his blank face because he got knocked out by Manchester United. But, it, I mean, it's all your fault, bro. You're supposed to be on the field. And I know you want to celebrate your sister's birthday, but, I mean, that doesn't mean you have to be out for, like, a month or two because you don't want to play these certain games. That's why your legacy's going down. For me, I mean, I don't rate him as high as I used to. Probably I used to rate him really high for his talent and what he did in Barca, but after he left, like, I, I was... This dude was dead to me. Like, I was glad he was doing bad in the World Cup. I was glad that uh, Brazil failed because it was all his fault. He couldn't step up. But Brazil's more than just Neymar. And I feel like that's what some people don't see. Like, they got other options. And I think for, for Tite, for the coach, it's just going to be way simpler. It's, a, it's another ego that's off the team. And you say, like, I, I probably uh, rant or whatever about that all the time, but e egotistical people, they don't need to be on a team. Like, we saw the revelation of the season in Vinicius Jr. And he wasn't even picked up in the squad. Right now, he could probably get picked up. And he, he was one of the highlights of Real Madrid, even though they sucked this year. He doesn't have a goal or whatever, but like there's other options, you know, Richarlison from Everton. Um, I don't know if it was this season or I don't know if he plays in the in the left, but like he's done it before. I don't know if he's done it for Brazil. Brazil's played him as a number nine also. And I remember one game against like a milder uh, country from my family, like from my dad's side against El Salvador. And he scored there. I think he scored like a hat trick or two goals. Or they can use Coutinho. I wouldn't advise that, but this guy turned up in the World Cup, and I saw what he did. He, he was playing even better than Neymar, in my opinion. So, like, that made me hype for Barcelona's season that just occurred right now, but this dude was nowhere to be found. But whatever. The Brazil's more. They're probably going to play more collective, more Joga Bonito. They might even get further in the competition. Who knows? Um, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed.